By using Matillion's API Profile Wizard and the API Extract Component, it is possible to create your own custom Matillion ETL connector. With flexibility on auth, paging and data structure, the API Profile Wizard allows you to test your connector before ever building an ETL job. Once you've configured the custom API profile, then you can use the API Extract component which allows you to extract the raw data. This creates the opportunity to connect to any REST API and quickly bring the data into your data warehouse or data lake. In this example, we'll create a new API profile using the API Query Profile Wizard to connect to a REST API for Bitcoin price information. Then using the API Extract component, connect to your newly created API profile to extract some data. We'll also set up a second new API profile to retrieve exchange rate data. Then, using Matillion transformation components, convert the current Bitcoin price from US dollars to Canadian dollars. First, we need to set up an extract profile that defines how an API is used to gather data. Select Manage Extract Profiles from the Project drop-down menu. Here you can create and manage all of your extract profiles. Press the plus button to add a new extract profile. Give the profile a name that will help you identify the profile later. As this is the API for the Bitcoin price, we'll call this Coin Price. Next, on the Configure Extract Profile screen, click New Endpoint to begin. Here we begin setting up the new API profile. Choose an endpoint name and description. These do not have to relate to the REST API you are accessing, but using relevant names and descriptions will make managing your profiles easier. For example, we'll call this coin price, then click Next. On the endpoint configuration page, enter the endpoint URI. This will be available from the source of the API. On this page of the wizard, you can input information about the API call you wish to make. Parameters. Specify any parameters to validate the API call. Users can pass a parameter name, value and type, and specify whether the parameter is constant or not. Auth. Input the credentials into the correct field if your API requires a username and password. Body. Specify, if required, the body of the request. Response. Here the API call response is displayed. When you click send, the response tab is automatically brought into view. The following message is displayed for all validated API calls. And log shows a log of the activity. Click next when this successfully validates. On the third page of the wizard, users can view the structure of the data returned from the API. Matillion ETL will attempt to identify the repeat elements from the data. However, users can specify this themselves. This will prevent duplicate data being stored when extracting the data. Users can also configure paging by selecting one of the supported paging schemes and providing the required parameters. The final page of the wizard is for reviewing the configuration of the new endpoint. Publishing the configuration will make the data source immediately available for your API extract profile. Click finish and now the extract profile has been set up. Then create an orchestration job and drag an API extract component onto the canvas. You can find this under components, connectors, load or by typing API Extract in the search bar. Go to the Properties tab, and under the selection, you can select your created endpoint. Then click into the Data Source property and select the data source, the endpoint name. For this example, Coin Price. The API details inputted during the setup of a custom API connection will populate the rest of the properties. Under the location property, input the external storage location for the data extract. In this case, an S3 bucket. When the parameters have been successfully entered, 
right click on the canvas and click run job. This will extract the API endpoint data to your external data location. Here you can use the endpoint data to fit your requirements. For our example, we'll use Matillion transformation components to calculate the Canadian dollars price of Bitcoin. Though first, we'll need to set up a second API profile for the current US dollars to Canadian dollars exchange rate. Navigate again to Manage Extract Profiles from the Project drop down menu. Press the plus button to add a new extract profile. As this profile is for currency exchange rates, we'll call this Exchange Rate. Select New Endpoint to begin the setup wizard again. Here we begin setting up the new API profile. We'll input endpoint name and description for the exchange rate endpoint. Click Next and enter the URI from the endpoint and click Send. In the Response tab, you will see the validation message if the call has been successful. If you need to add any parameters, auth or body information, you can do this here. Remember, you can remove any repeating elements from the data. Click Next to review the endpoint configuration before clicking Finish. Then drag another API extract component to the canvas and edit the properties to use your new API profile for the API and data source selections. Remember to point the storage location to where you want the file to extract to. For this example, the same S3 bucket as used previously. Now, using Matillion transformation components, we can use the endpoint data to calculate the current Bitcoin price in Canadian dollars. As the data types from the two endpoints did not match, we'll use two table input components to pull in the data, one for each extract we've set up. Then we'll use two convert type components so we can convert the data in both required fields into the same format. Then we'll write this data out into two new views to avoid data duplication. Now using an SQL component, we can write a query for our calculation. Once you've written your query, click run and you can see the original US dollars Bitcoin price exchange rate and our newly calculated Canadian dollars Bitcoin price. You can then use the output of the SQL component to write out to a new table or view. For full documentation on how to create your own connector, visit the Matillion documentation site.